you typically deal with like a build versus buy problem. Where, mm -hmm. What are the things that trigger people to buy also instead? Yeah. So there's a few things that you can do that will create an increase in complexity of your authorization requirements. Um, and those are typically the things that cause a customer to want to buy OSO. Um, so there's like a few different examples. One would be um, you're going to move from, let's say, coarse grain authorization to what you might call fine grain authorization. Imagine if we were building Slack together, right? In a coarse grain authorization world, uh, maybe I would be an admin, you would be a member, I could add users, maybe you couldn't, and that would be it. So it's sort of this all or nothing feature gating. By contrast, fine grain authorization refers to access control at like the resource or the object level. So for instance, being able to say you're the owner of this channel and I'm a member of it, or I'm the owner of one channel and you know, you're a member of that one, that like dramatically actually increases the complexity of the implementation, just making that jump. And there's a handful of others moving from monolith to microservices, moving from statically defined roles to user or customer defined roles, wanting to add support for LLMs as an example. So anytime a customer, uh, like a, a company tries to cross one of these bridges, that tends to be a good trigger for, for something like OSO. Gotcha.